Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. And a state that once hosted psychedelic awakenings and is well known for its unique past has hit the market for a whopping $65 million as it is set to become the most expensive property in the area. The New York-based mansion, known as the Hitchcock Estate, dates back to the Victorian era. The 38-room property sprawls across an impressive 2,078 acres and boasts two lakes and a peaceful forest. And its ties to certain notable figures such a former Harvard professor has garnered it plenty of attention across New York. After having undergone extensive renovations, the 10-bedroom mansion is now ready for a new owner to make history especially one that can reawaken its past. In 1963, the president of Standard Oil, Walter C. Teagle, sold the home to brothers Billy and Timmy Hitchcock for a generous $500,000. Heirs to the Mellon family fortune, and members of one of the wealthiest families in the U.S., they decided to rent out the mansion. The tenant was no other than Timothy Leary, a Harvard professor, clinical psychologist, and pioneering psychedelic drug advocate. During his five-year stay, in which the estate was reportedly the target of drug raids, LSD lovers flocked to experiment with psychedelics. Nina Graboy, an influential figure in the movement, described the scene as a cross between a country club, a madhouse, a research institute, a monastery, and a Fellini movie set. Leary, who was considered the most dangerous man in America by President Richard Nixon, left the estate and it quickly fell into a state of disrepair. But now, the 10-bedroom mansion has undergone extensive renovations and is ready for a new owner to make history. The inside of the property boasts high ceilings that are adorned with intricate designs, along with ornate fireplaces and elaborate wood paneling making the home a piece of art. From a carved wooden staircase to stained glass windows, the 15,000-square-foot main residence is one of a kind. The expansive dining room, which is perfect for entertaining guests, is fit for royalty with gold wallpaper and curtains accenting the rustic wooden furnishings. One of the sitting rooms uses a speakeasy feel, with dark red curtains, a piano, and brightly colored seating adding a pop to the cozy lit space. Included within the number of bedrooms is a two-room suite which is connected via a luxurious living room, made for those fancying a little privacy. Outside, the impressive grounds are to be admired, along with the exterior of the home that features turrets on either side. For a spot of nature, stroll down to the two lakes or the peaceful forest that comes complete with an equestrian complex and a working cattle farm. On the estate, there's also a bowling alley and gatehouse, as well as a tennis complex and staff quarters. It was designed by 1920s architect Addison Misner, who is best known for transforming South Florida in line with the Spanish Revival. Located in the historic Hudson Valley Village, Millbrook, the area is described as the low-key version of the Hamptons. And only 90 miles away from the bustling city of New York, there's always activities waiting to be enjoyed. Nearby you can find golf course, tennis courts, and shooting. Downtown, celebrities such as Faith Hill, Liam Neeson, and Jessica Lange could also be spotted. The property is currently listed with Heather Croner of Sotheby's International Realty for $65 million.